My first vegetable was grown because I got upset. $1.89 for a bell pepper. When I bought a pack of seed for 25 cents and I had bell peppers for seven months. I guess 100 oh, square feet of uh, dirt that's been dug, doing it just a little spade. And uh, I think by, by February, I should have it all completed. <laughs> And all this gardening has saved his sanity because he was going crazy not having something to do, you know, during the storm. So yeah, um, this is what really helped him. The digging, yeah, it's uh, my way of releasing. It's therapeutic. Yeah, it's releasing it's a lot of tension. Yeah. Uh, right now, you know, you look at a little patch of dirt, it's like, you know, what is this? But I think there's a new opportunity that's going to arise in the next five years. You know what those are? They're strawberries, man. They're strawberries. I thought they were dead at first. We'll see what happens. As far as construction, I understand that an owner can be their own contractor. Now, of course, that means that it's going to take a little longer for me, but come on, it's been 16 months living like this. I, I can live another year like this, yeah. I was walking uh, around Lowe's and I noticed in the distance these uh, rosemary uh, bushes and it's like, wait a minute, that looks like a Christmas tree. So I came home and I told my daughter and, and son, hey, uh, now you know we can't put a Christmas tree in the, uh, in the trailer, but what if I brought something that looked like a Christmas tree, smelled like a Christmas tree, but it's only gonna be about yay big and they're like, we wanna see this it's just as good as if it were 12 feet tall. I really hope that they can understand the way you process something is gonna determine whether or not something's good or bad. Mm, this, is, this is big. I'm gonna have to go down a little deeper. I'm gonna have to go down a little deeper do it. There we go. Hmm? <laughs> we'll take all this in now. And uh, could you open the door for daddy? The city put a pink notice saying that your home is a, is a hazard to the community uh, and that they intend to demolish it within 30 days on the, of the date of the notice. Of course, 30 days has passed, so maybe they're a little behind. I don't know, but... How come you can't knock this place down so we can go ahead and build a house and we can be normal like everyone else in, in America? Why are they doing nothing and we're having to stay in these trailers? You know, in all of America saying, well, all these people in New Orleans, you know, if they pull themselves up by their bootstraps, you know, and, and fend for themselves, it's like, hey, we're not talking about money. We're talking about let us go ahead and do something. Yeah. We, we, we can build a house, let us do it. And I think if I didn't have the garden, I would go crazy on stuff like that. Green beans, green onions, squash, and little ham bits. But what I did was I sauteed the onion, and oh, and garlic too, and all that stuff's out the garden. Instead of letting families languish in trailers, we will ensure that every displaced resident can return to a home. Now, in the wake of this quintessentially American city's greatest test, we see the stirrings of a new day. This is amazing how this is just coming down, so... I don't see what the problem was. You see that, huh? Finally. Finally. Yes. He's the one. Celebrate. Celebrate. That, real one, I told celebrate. You about. That's, that's, celebrate. That's Glad it's finally gone, and now we can build our new house and move forward. 